Hey Recover family, it's Dr. Bobby Thrush. I'm here in Doral at the lab. I have five of my athletes inside waiting for me. We're gonna hear about their stories. We're gonna do some functional medicine and I'm gonna show you a little bit more therapy techniques in there. Shout out to Mac Method. This is an electrical stem. This is for people who have pain. What it does, it helps decrease the pain receptors, the C fibers and the A fibers. So it helps modulate them. If you have like an intense injury or arthritis or it could be an ACL tear, whatever it may be, it's gonna help bring down that pain so they are able to do daily activities without intense pain. I actually tore my meniscus and I've had electrical stem done in the past and this really does help me with my knee because I do have arthritis. So this is my favorite type of recovery. So right now what we're doing right here is electrical stem. What I'm doing right now is modulating his pain. I'm bringing down his sensitivity to pain. So it's sending these electrical impulses deep into the muscle to help modulate the A fibers and the C fibers which are responsible for pain. Well, I know where to put these certain pads because I'm looking for muscle groups. Like for example, for the calf, I'll put it on the calf. For the quad, I'm gonna, there's four muscles in the quad. I'm gonna put it on the three main active muscle groups on the quad. You have all those right here and that's where I'm targeting right now. This is the first yeah, time right. we're doing compression group therapy and I'm loving it. I'm loving it because I can feel my legs actually getting stronger for a certain reason, you know? The blood flow is, is ridiculous. And um, this is the first time, but it's definitely not gonna be the last. Uh, I tore my meniscus a couple times actually, not too long ago, probably about a month ago. And I can feel the blood rushing through my leg. And, you know, blood going through your leg faster in a, in a quicker way could also lead to uh, better recovery. Hey Devontae, how's these uh, compression boots from Therabody? Hey man, I'm loving it. I'm loving the feeling on it. I love the compression on my legs. Uh, I feel the blood flowing. This is exactly what I need. Awesome. Yeah, this is perfect for, for recovery right after a workout or even warming up right before. So that same blood flow that you're getting is what we're trying to achieve. We're trying to get your, your muscles warm and ready to go. So we got here our two recovery boots. They have a, a zip up so it's nice and, uh, and snug and you have these two attachments right here where air comes into. So it goes on and off, on and off for about a 30 minute cycle. And what that does is helps, once it, once it compresses, it helps bring a demand for, for blood flow into the lower extremity. And then once it lets go, then it pulls right back. So it's giving that compression that the muscles need after a workout or before a workout to get warmed up. So blood flow, like I said, is the, is the king of all all working on all treatment. Hi, my name is Devin Davis. I'm from Miami, Florida. Growing up, I played basketball, uh, volleyball, did a little bit of track, but um, I tore my meniscus in 2012. I thought I always thought I was invincible. I thought it could never happen to me. So after working with Bobby, I felt a lot less pain. I felt a lot of more mo mobility in my knees. So my fitness goals now are to remain functional, to have that sense of mobility. As I'm getting older, you know, I want to move better. I don't want to be so stiff. So working with Bobby, focusing on recovery and mobility is what I'm trying to do for me. Hey, my name is Devontae Davis from Miami, Florida, and I play basketball and I uh, work out. At this age, I have ailments uh, every day. Um, my most recent one was the torn meniscus about three or four months ago. Back in the day, I used to think I was Superman, you know, I would just lift weights and I wouldn't recover at all thinking, you know, nothing would ever happen to me, but then boom, you know, tore my meniscus and uh, that was uh, the biggest injury I've had so far in my life. I actually tore my, my meniscus after COVID. Um, the gyms opened up again, and of course that COVID weight kind of got to me. I thought I could do what I used to do. I went in the gym, played a couple days. That third day, knee was like a water balloon, and it was a uh, that was a uh, that was a wake up call. Now at this point, when I work out, I try to get on the I try to get on the bike for at least 15, 20 minutes. After the bike, I would like to get on the floor. I stretch. I use a foam roller. I try to get my body warm with anything I do, even though it's not lower lower body, upper body as well. I still try to stretch out everything because I'm more conscious now. I'm taking recovery more serious. I've gotten grasping treatments from Dr. Bobby a few times, and uh, at first that hurts. It's, I thought he actually hurt me, but a couple days later, it was the best thing that probably uh, that has happened to me for a while. Uh, I've had a compression boost for the first time. It was uh, really good for my legs as well. For my mental health, I like getting in the gym regardless, even if it's just to stretch or just to get on the bike for 10, 15 minutes. But as long as I get to put on my headphones, sweat a little bit, get into my zone, um, that's always best for my mental health. 
My fitness goal is pretty much longevity. I want to be able to play with my son. I want to be able to play with his kids. I don't want to be that dad that's on the sideline that's, uh, you know, 30, 40 years old and he has to watch because he's not able to, to reach, you know, the goals that, that his son wants him to reach.